we focus all our attention on the neck. Multiple reasons. For one, the brainstem's housed up there and that controls every function in the body. For two, where the head goes and the neck goes, the rest of the body follows and so it creates compensatory changes which can cause musculoskeletal, neck pain, arm pain, leg pain, foot pain, knee pain, back pain, disc problems all the way up and down the spine. But also because so many Americans suffer on a regular basis with chronic neck pain. And if we can find the cause of that pain, which believe it or not, neck pain doesn't come, isn't caused by a drug deficiency, right? So taking your uh, Neurotin, your Celebrex, taking medications, even Tylenol and aspirin are never gonna fix neck pain because neck pain is not caused by a drug deficiency. So what we have found is neck pain, almost 100% of the time, comes from something being just slightly out of position in the neck, creating an imbalance, creating, making one side stretch while the other side contracts because you lose the symmetry. When you do that, muscles don't like it. They have, when they stretch, they'll contract to try to protect themselves from tearing, creating that neck pain, even pain up into the head, which can turn into headaches. It can affect nerves that go down the arms, the shoulders, to the hands. So at the upper cervical spine center, we focus all of our attention on finding that misalignment in the neck, that slight imbalance that could be creating that short-term, long-term neck pain. Then what we do is we correct it very simply. We don't put anything in the body. We don't take anything out of the body. We wait one very specific correction to whichever bone in the neck is causing the problem. And then once we do that, the rest of the body starts to become symmetrical again. And those muscles that were stretched or contracted will start to ease off and they'll start to balance.